Here we go. I know a quick turnaround from the last video, but I had the resin left, so why not go ahead and finish them off? It's Leo time. No! What happened to Leo? Aw, oh, man. I think everything else looks good, but I don't know what happened there. What could have possibly happened? All right, well, when I was taking it out, trying to get it off the uh, thing, it broke in half, but um, you can see through just a layer right here. It didn't print right. Put it back together real quick. Just kind of put a crack right down it. A layer of mist. Around the arm there. I did clean off the fat. There were some layers that were that were stuck to the bottom of the film that I had to clean off. So I might have to drain this, make sure there's no other leaked or uh, stuck parts in the fat, and then refill it. But kind of a stinker. We'll go ahead and use it for some test work on the coloring to get it right like we did with Donnie, but we'll have to just rerun the biggest part that took the most resin. Kind of sucks. But that's part of it. Well, this is our third try. And it does look like we got Leo and all these other pieces, but the big base just failed all over. I really don't know what's going on. I'm guessing it's just stuck to the bottom in there, but like, I don't know why that's happening. It's getting frustrating. All right, so here's a test fit. After three failed attempts, I didn't even show you guys one. We got Leonardo all test fitted. Emmy is making snow. Icy. Snow ices over here with uh, a <laughs> powdered drink mix. But So I think what I'm going to do on the base, you'll see here where it failed here and failed here. I think I'm just going to go with it for now because if you look at the way that he poses facing forward, you can't really tell. I mean, if you get around the side, you can see a little bit over there. I mean, I can always reprint it down the line, but I think for now mm -hmm. I'm just going to go with it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. There is a light or a sign pole that goes right here. I don't know if I like it though. Whenever I see it completed, I feel like it takes away from Leo. So it's uh, it's curing right now. We'll see what it looks like with that pole on there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start getting airbrushing Leo. And you can see here, Dang it. I'm gonna stand. Um, you'll see we got him all satined it up, and he looks really cool just even in this like satin gray primer. He's been sitting on my table for a few days, so he's just waiting to get to it and. Every time I walk by, I look at him like, that looks so cool. He just looks all stoic and awesome. I think this is my favorite of uh, all the models. So I'm excited to get him done. Let's go ahead and get our paint in the gun. This one will be probably one of the easier ones because I'm not going to do any mixing. Um, man, I wish I had a way to kind of get him to stand on something to hold him up. But I don't really like sitting him down. But... Um, we're just going to go with the standard green. We use this green a lot in a bunch of the other turtles, but lightened, you added it with a lighter color or added it with a darker color, um, whatever it may be. But since Leo is kind of just like the default, uh, we're just going to go just with this solid green and we'll thin it down. I'm going to try to keep using this, but I don't think it's getting it thin enough. My gun keeps clogging. Like, and I just keep adding more and more and it feels like it's not working. working. This is the cleaning liquid that thins it down and this one seems to be working better when i was at the hobby store the other day too they had a lot of um airbrush you know thinners that looked more like this like a clear than than what this milky stuff is but i don't know we'll see how it goes and just i was getting i had i've been having a lot of problems with clogging uh on the gun the last few times i've used it i didn't really do a good job cleaning that did i so i might have to do some cleaning before we get started but um, oh yeah, that's not even going back. All right, well, let me get working on this gun and see if we can get this guy airbrushed. All right, so update, we're having craft night and I'm joined by mm -hmm. my daughter here who is drawing Mr. Bob. And Mrs. And Bob and, Mrs. and Bob, Bob Jr. And Bob Jr. Don't know how to draw water. With her fancy markers, what are they called? Poscas. Poscas. She's all about them Poscas right now. Her friends. <laughs> but meanwhile, over here in Turtle Land, we um, finished airbrushing Leo. We're going to pull him out of here. Let's see. And there you go. Um, so originally, he also came out 
just to catch you up on how it was going. He was looking shiny a lot like, like Mikey did. Um, and I knew that wasn't the case because I did a little test work on my failed print. This was just with a brush, not through the airbrush. And I knew it was matte, so I couldn't figure out what the difference was. And I think the problem was to thin it down so far, I was using a lot of this, this cleaning fluid, because it seemed to be the only thing that would not let have it clog in the airbrush. And uh, I think I thinned it down so much that it was mixing in kind of like water based and that was adding to the, the shine. So to get it back to this matte look that we wanted, um, I got this handy dandy uh, Mr. Super Clear matte spray that I hit up all over it and that um, got them nice and kind of matted up. In case you're wondering, here's his other arm. It just was loose, so I just went ahead and took it off because it's easier to paint when it's off. Yes. Oh, no. Lady oh, yeah, cat. And you also, oh, you fully customized that thing. <laughs> that was a Pokemon card that you customized. Yeah, the back is all glittery. You asked if you could customize that. I thought you were, like, going to draw on it. You completely just... <laughs> I have another you. one that has all these bobs on it, but it's only one. Oh, nice. glasses. It's still an electric one, though. Meanwhile, Mr. Bob, but... As a teenager, basically. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Meanwhile, we also worked on our, did our base, uh, which turned out really cool. I really like doing bases. Um, so you'll see here, we did a brick. I'm probably going to put a little bit of a wash on that. Uh, we put our little, our metallic on the grate cover and did a little rust dry brush with like a metallic kind of rust color. I, didn't, I need to finish the one way sign, but you'll see. And you got the little pipe right there. Looks pretty cool. I really like doing the bases. I think they always turn out really cool. So, something to do while we're... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get into this. It's getting kind of late tonight to start on this. And once I get going, I know I'm going to finish. So, tomorrow we'll probably do the chest. I think what I'm going to try to do is just do it with a brush and not airbrush. Because whenever I airbrush, for one, this thing gets clogged again. It's a big mess. And then it ends up kind of coming over the shoulder. So, I end up having to go back and clean it. So I think what we'll try to do is just do it with brush. Um, but we'll do the rest of them. And I think by tomorrow we'll have it completely done. What do you think? All right. All right, little update here as we're doing some more work here. I'm attempting to just do the chest with all brush. I'm just layering on this very mustardy yellow, uh, but that's okay because we're gonna come back later and go over top of it with this. Uh, nope, not that one. Somewhere around here. I have like a more brownish yellow that's gonna go over top of that and hopefully blend it in to give that a little bit more earthy. And then we're just doing some bandage work. Um, went ahead and did a first coat on the show. So just getting some, some solid base coats down. Uh, did some more here on the arm with the pad and the wrist wrap and the sword and everything. Went ahead and just did all that while I had it off. So we're just doing some base cutting and we'll do, we'll do some detail. All right, I think paint is done. Uh, really happy with it right off the bat. Um, the, the chest worked out pretty good. It's a little streaky. It looks a little better in person than it does on the camera, but uh, the coloring got really good. Um, man, the finish looks really good. The blue mask, this paint went much better than on Mikey's. I'm very happy with it. The base turned out really good. I need to finish the one-way sign there, but... It actually looks really awesome already, and we haven't even started doing shading. So we're going to get our shades out, start doing some washing and some shading, get all the back shell looking all shaded up and washed, and uh, finish them up. All right, Leo is done. All four turtles now complete. You can see we did our washes and all of our gritting things up. Look at that. Look how hard that goes right there with an angle. I think my favorite of the, of the turtles that we did was is this Leo. He just looks so cool. Again, all the other ones too are kind of hunched down and like he's just standing up looking all cool. But here he is taking his place amongst his brothers. Donnie, Leo, Raph, and Mikey. There's the full display. Oh, I'm really happy with it. He turned out really good. Chest looks a little streaky. I might have to come back and mess with that a little bit, but everything else just turned out 
really great. Really happy with it. What do you think, Emmy? Nice. Look good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay.